Well, this is either a mistake or a great thing. Uh, this is Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, and this is Rising Apricot. Um, I haven't done a whole lot so far. Um, beaten the tutorial, and that is really about it. This is kind of the first area you see after you finish the tutorial. Um, you see kind of your home hub, kind of like your firing shrine, I guess. Go back and take a look at that real quick. Met a few friends back here. So this is kind of the shrine area, I guess you call it. You get your little Buddhas. You can rest at this, it's kind of similar to your bonfire. Um, anytime you rest, enemies respawn, just like Dark Souls, just like Bloodborne. Up here is our friend. Uh, you may use me to hone your swordsmanship, if you like. Hanbei? Not, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Anyway, you can fight this guy, and he is undead, so you can kill him over and over and over again. and He'll just get back up, keep on fighting. So he's just kind of good for practice, honing your shinobi skills. And back this way, we met a very interesting guy. And all of these just statues laying in a pile. Not really sure what those are doing, but this man is the sculptor. And I'm assuming the prosthetic arm that you can see there was his? Because he seems to be missing an arm. You again. I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there. Don't do anything funny with it. <clears throat> Don't worry, I won't, I won't touch your Buddhas, sir, I promise. Can I hug the Buddha? No, I can only hug the wall. So yeah, that's him. That's the sculptor. Um, we are Sekiro the Wolf. We're we're charged with guarding this young lord who has a divine bloodline, and he got captured by his. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on yet, but anyway, his uh, relative left us very injured. Get up this wall here, and we got saved by the sculptor, and now we're here. That's that's it's kind of everything that's happened up to this point. Now that we're caught up to speed, let's see. We have lying ahead. So I've been up here, there was an item. I don't really remember what that was, but that's literally all I've seen. Everything up past here is new for me. Completely blind. Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot, such as items and money. Okay, so just pretty similar to other from software games. Um, I see, I see the money, but I, I I can't seem to pick it up. Well, you know what? Just hold on to that for a minute. Oh, hello, friend. Oh! 
was not ready for that. I thought he was going to keep on standing there. Up. Swing, swing, swing. Block. Oh, why? Quick items. I don't need this right now. I need to finish this guy. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, oh, he's got some stuff, too. Which I can't seem to pick up. I don't really know what these coins are supposed to be. Um... So I'm still getting used to the combat. Uh, instead of blocking, you have this deflection, and that affects enemies' posture. And then you can do like a critical blow that finishes them off. Um, excuse me. So we're gonna heal up here. Here's our handy grappling hook. Let's see what's on top of this building here. Get a better view. Of the surrounding area. It's got. A Gate. Couple, couple of mad lads down there. Looks like a little hidden area down here. And another friend over here. So let's explore this side really quick. Well, I like to explore and see the game, get all the hidden items. Okay, so this is just a side path. Oh, I see something shiny up here. Ceramic shard, piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Throw it at enemies to draw their attention. Throwing and smashing pieces made for popular sport amongst Ashina boys. Even after growing up, they remember the old games. So let's put that on our bar. Oh, Ungo is sugar. This basically makes you take less damage. That was the item I picked up earlier. So let's get our shards on there. All right. Oh, that was sick! Plunging attack. Did you miss there, friend? Finish him off. Still, still can't pick anything up off these guys. So it looks like you can kind of take a stealthy approach here. Stealth is a mechanic in this game, and you can insta kill. A lot of enemies who aren't expecting it. Just like that. Another hidden item here. Some more of that sugar I was talking about earlier temporarily reduces vitality damage. So those are very useful, but I'm gonna I'm gonna save those for now. Let's see if we can get another stealth attack. So there's two of them here. I should be able to get this guy relatively easily though. Who are just as I planned and this guy didn't even seem to notice. Well, well. Fistful of ash. Ash that can be... Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at enemies to temporarily distract them. It sounds similar to the ceramic things we already have. Pellets. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. That's another option we have for healing. Dog? Is he you friendly little pooch? Hello. Oh. No, I don't I don't think he's friendly. I don't want to kill him though. Why do they make killing dogs in this game? He seems seems like a nice poochie. Let's 
we'll just go around. We'll just, we'll just leave him be. He, he ain't bothering us. Chicken? A giant chicken. Well, you know, oh my god, you hit incredibly hard. Safety roll. When posture's broken, use XR circle to roll out of the way. Oh, thank you. I need some chicken nuggets. Come here. Yeah, we'll fry you up for dinner. My god, the size of this chicken, though. Well, uh, we're going to use one of our healing pellets doesn't seem to work very fast so we're, we're just gonna chill for a second while we get some health back so it looks like we have some more enemies down here leading off to looks like a point up there I want to keep looking this side of course before we continue on. Got another item here. Ooh, sure can wheel. Mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen. Can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetics tool. It's palm size, surprising number of shuriken can fit into the wheel. Oh. So I'm guessing we can just throw out some shuriken from this thing. Okay, so we have to bring this back to the sculptor before we can use it. Doggos there, we're just gonna leave it be. Grappling hook! Oh, there we go. Oh! We're just gonna quick pick up this item. We're not gonna bother any poochies. The ceramic shard. Anything back here? So let's quick rest up here. And we're gonna travel back to the dilapidated temple. So let's see what our sculptor friend can do for us. Hello! I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang, thick shields, break them into splinters, swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies if there's someone that needs killing. There's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Present Shinobi prosthetic. All right. Thank you, old man. If you want more forms for that fang of yours, you'll need to search for more shinobi tools. There's no turning back from this path now. The least I can do is load your arm. Prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted for use of shinobi prosthetic. Can be equipped in the equipment menu. OK. 
Okay, so let's take a look. We get three slots and use triangle to select. So they consume something called a spirit emblem. Not really sure what that is yet. Pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it at a target in single fluid motion. Flowing motion. So it doesn't look like we can try it out yet because we need some more of the spirit emblems. Kind of curious about this old man. He seems to have had some experience with this arm. Hope he at least washed it before he gave it to us. Anyway, let's get back on the road. Oh. Who's this? I don't think I remember seeing you before. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. Oh, fair enough. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. Present healing gourd. You made this gourd. Yes, it was intended for Lord Kuro. But it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. So she's kind of similar to our... I'm struggling here. The Fire Keeper. We used to give her Estus Shards back in the original OG Dark Souls and she'd upgrade her Estus Flask. So we'll give her Gourd Seed. Don't have any. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, but goodbye. Thank you, Emma. All right, so I want to see how these shuriken work. I think we can use our friend here for help. Looks like I gotta talk to him first. It's you. You may use me to hone your. St In that case. Use prosthetic tool, right trigger. So it looks like we only get two per emblem. He was able to block them fairly easily. Face me again. Oh, you want more, you say? And more. Let's give him one more go. Didn't really put up a bunch of a fight. Alright. Yes, very satisfying. I'm sure getting stabbed repeatedly and not being able to die is just great. Make me feel really good inside. Come back whenever you like. All right. I have techniques to try out. I'm at your disposal. Thank you very much. Okay. Now that we're done with all that, let's get back to it, shall we? Purchase spirit emblems. Let's 
So it looks like we don't have any money, but we can carry 15 of them. Okay, good to know. So we'll travel back to the outskirts wall. Okay, so let's continue back on the path that we were heading. Right in here, it's into cover. Look around and see what we have here. Doesn't look like anybody's up ahead in this little, little camp. Oh, there's one guy. He hasn't spotted us, spotted us yet. He's Oh yes, just make make all the noise. Alright, friend. Hello. Oh, so he seems to be a little stronger than the other guys we're facing. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, 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 um. A little, a little panicking here. Okay. General Namori Kawarada. God, you really hit hard. So, heal, 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 heal. Okay. There we go. We deflected an attack. Jump away from that one. You can interrupt him. Okay, good to know. All right, buddy. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me. Yes, just zip line, zip line away. Uh, you pellet, you pellet. So I'm not really sure how to. Oh, and he just, he just completely blocked that. Okay. So let's go for another plunging attack. Got him! So up, up top you can see his posture bar and below is mine and if that fills up we can do a death blow on him. Oh, you don't... Oh, got rid of some of his posture. Oh my god! We're doing good. Doing just great. No, stop! Stop! What you're doing? You bastard! Oh. Alright, our first death. Yes, our first death. Because you did not see me die in the tutorial. Oh. Uh. Oh, so we can resurrect. We are back! Resurrection, the divine heir's blood grants ability to return from the dead using resurrective power. One charge is always restored by resting on a sculpture's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Become unusable immediately after using it. The killing enemies can get available again. Alright, so round two, buddy. Oh, uh, yep, 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 yep. We're doing just fine. We got him! Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's not dead. Um, 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 um. Let's, let's use a pellet here. Just kind of bob and wee, bob and wee for a little, little bit here. Okay, I see our little charge building. Just gonna go 
and do a couple of hits, go out. Gonna play this real safe. Oh my god! Okay, I think we died for real this time. Okay, loss upon death experience towards the next skill point in current sen is in hand. In hand or halved upon death. So you do still lose something for dying. Classic from software. But it's only half. No, no means to escape this loss. However, with the grace of the gods or Buddha, it may not be impossible. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. This looks like we have one revive at the moment. Round two, buddy. Bring it, General. Oh, not, not a great start. Okay, 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 okay. Back up. Let's heal. Dodge, dodge. So focused. Okay, jump away. That's good deflection. Oh, his bar just does not seem to want to fill up. Oh, you just keep attacking and attacking, don't you? Alright. One more time, we'll give him a go. Jump! This looks like he does take damage from regular attacks as well. Good combo going there. Stop! No! Oh, pause to go back down. You bastard! We gotta keep on him. We can't give him any space. Oh! Oh, and got us. Oh, we're getting. We did. We did our best. We tried. I'm sorry, team. All right. I have heard before that this game. It's much harder than any Dark Souls game, and I will say, so far, it is... It's not very easy. It's, it's pretty hard. I mean... We haven't seen much yet, and that guy has already kicked my ass twice now. Um, but I think that's all I have time for right now. Um, 
I will continue to share my experiences with you. Um, I don't have any schedule right now, but I'll try at least once a week. Maybe a little more. Um, anyway, I'm going to spend some time here, try to get a little better, and come back and see our friend again. Anyway, thank you, and I will see you again soon.